Hi my friends, let's model the part 22 from my collection of 100 parts. Taking a look to the part, we see that we have an oval basement and a wall. This is a slot with the length of 86 and radius 21. Let's start with this slot. And the plane ZX with X horizontal. Slot, center slot, half of the horizontal axis. This means 86 divided by 2. And the radius is 21. Good. There are two cuts symmetrical on 86 again. But uh, we'll use these points after we extrude on 16. Finish sketch, extrude, 16, OK, F6. Now, on this face, I create some lines. arcs this center must be coincident with this okay the radius is 8 8 good project geometry axis Z and mirror these three lines about this axis finish sketch extrude both as cutting all the way ok the first volume is created. Now we create this rectangle of uh, 70 at the distance of uh, 60. Next is the wall which is 15 millimeters placed on 60. 60 minus 15 is 45 then uh, this wall is uh, outside the slot yes we have to be careful here 70 60 15 and 62 these are dimensions for that wall the same plane, sketch, rectangle, 70, tab, 15, and uh, 60, with the same vertical for this and the center point which is here we are sure of this finish sketch extrude 62 okay and we have two distinct volumes but inventor see sees them as 
only one yes solid bodies is one only one okay then we have to connect these two volumes at this level what means it means that we have to create here another uh, sketch on this face the sketch f7 is very simple a rectangle from here to the other part but with coincidency between these two points finish sketch extrude extrude this two to this face okay okay next we have to create this two channels one vertical one horizontal we start with the vertical one 12 on 20 at 5 millimeters from the back this face rectangle the same vertical for this point and this point and then 5 22 and 12 finish sketch extrude this contour cut all the way okay the other one is with the same width but at 8 millimeters from the button this is the face this is the rectangle we project some lines this and this to create collinearity between them and also here dimension 8 finish sketch extrude this rectangle cut 2 to what? to this ok good now we have to apply this uh, fillet on the uh, between these two faces and this is not possible with fillet it is not possible the radius is uh, 5 why is not possible because it extends to this direction let's see fillet I try to create this fillet of 5 and the result would be an extension not stopping here and there is no option to obtain this okay let's create our own fillet because we have to solve the problem this is the face f7 circle with the radius of 5 tangent to this face tangent to this face trim here and now we can uh, use this uh, triangle 
pseudo triangle. Extrude this small area the other direction to to this face. Okay, now you see the fillet ends here and not uh, disturb anything to uh, place the other we can apply mirror mirror of this feature about this plane okay another fillet is here yes on the both sides also five turn back the part select fillet and two edges okay the last thing is, is to create these two uh, holes 50 38 diameter of 12 okay we place here two points one two we connect them with a line construction line we make it horizontal and we place its midpoint on the center point which is here 50 the length of line and 38 from the bottom finish sketch hole of 12 okay okay this is our part the only problem was with this fillet but you can solve by using other procedures always the part is from steel cast with the general aspect of steel cast and this channels to be machined and the bottom okay and the holes yes they are steel polished okay the data you can see here 862 grams okay that's all for the moment bye bye